Two teams have won 13 games in the regular season. Peyton Manning, first NFL start, Edger and James, and Javon Kurtz, offensive and defensive rookie of the years. How many, how many times would they hook up? 3-3, three, three, second quarter, Manning looking for E.G. Green. It's a great diving catch, but you saw it right away. He, an early report of a fractured leg, although we don't have the late word, but you can see it right away, Tom. Well, great catch by E.G. Green. Great, great job of laying out, concentrating on catching the football even though obviously he was seriously injured. Marcus Robertson, the hit leads to a cold field goal by Vanderjag, 6-3 Indianapolis at home. Next Titans drive, this play started to turn things around. Steve McNair bogged down on offense. Here he runs up the middle then to the outside for 29 yards. Thought this started to loosen them up, Tom. McNair looking for the end zone, but Chad, Mama gonna take my coat of chrome. And Jason Belzer tipped the ball away. Next play, McNair for Yancey Thigpen. And it's knocked down by Coda again. Field goal, Al Del Greco, 6-6. Jeff Fisher's team looking to play D in the final 20 seconds of the half. But Manning to Marcus Pollard, five yards first down. Tick, 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 tick. Manning gets everyone to the line. Then watch this. He fakes a spike play. The ref blew the whistle. And so the Colts figured they were in business on a fake but the refs were fooled. Well, great fake by Peyton Manning on the play, and fortunately, because the whistle uh, blew, or unfortunately for the Colts, they did not complete this pass. Otherwise, Moore would have been even more upset. Well, Moore is very much upset, had a right to be. It forced the Colts to settle for a field goal. That pass was certainly not toward the end zone, however. 9-6 at half. Eddie George up the middle, and he could go all the way right out of the gates. First drive in the third quarter. Maybe they saw McNair go up the middle, Tom, in late second quarter. This time, George did it. 68 yards, 13-9 Titans. Well, you knew this was a large part of the game plan. Watch the tackle right there. Brad Hopkins, he is going to crush down the line. The middle linebacker, Mike Barber, gets caught inside. You see Eddie George see the scene. Number 52 tries to spin out. It's a little too late. And then look at the surprising speed of George heading for the end zone. Colts offense, we have not seen them struggle like this this year. I know a couple weeks ago against Buffalo in their last game, but they didn't have much on the line. Manning overthrows Marvin Harrison. Pressured, he overthrows Jerome Payton. Mora Manning frustrated. Same drive. Boy, Tennessee can play some D, can they not? Allowing just one touchdown last week to Buffalo. Manning. Harrison turns around, pretty catch, 25 yards. Finally, the crowd in the game, but fourth and one. Right tackle, Adam Meadows, looks like Sheila McRae. He jumps early, full start, and they were gonna go on it, fourth and one, but they're forced to punt. It's now 16-9 after another Del Greco field goal. Terrence Wilkins to return the punt. The little guy. Colts looking for a break, and they got one. Look at Wilkins, down the sideline. He could go all the way, almost all the way. But wait a minute, did he go any of the way? Jeff Fisher says, I'm trying to appeal. I'm trying to appeal. The thing doesn't work, I'm trying to appeal. Johnny Greer, would you look in the peep show? Tell me if he stepped out of bounds. And, and I think this was a fairly easy decision for referee Johnny one. Greer. You see one time stepping out there, mm -hmm. another time on the line there, then back in and watch as he makes the cut back across the field, he steps out again. So Johnny Greer says he did step out correctly so, and the Colts, who needed that big break, did not get one. As a result, Tennessee put him back a couple of times. On third and 22, Marvin Harrison can't hold on. Punt again. So that was a difference of about 60 or 70 yards, Tommy. Meanwhile, McNair, Frank Wycheck on third and three, four yards, first down. Later on the drive, fourth down, Al Del Greco, a perfect four for four. One of the veterans from the old days of the Houston Oilers. 43 yard field goal makes it 19 9. Javon Kurtz tips Manning's pass. Incomplete on third and four. On fourth and four, they got to go. Manning. To Tommy, Edger James makes this catch all year. Today. And we saw a lot of that today from the Colts. Drop balls. The Titans, where they celebrate too early. George, in one of the few miscues from him, fumbles. Michael Barber. Recovers. Mora looking for Mora points. They're down by 10. On third and 10. Manning. Payton. 12 yards. Manning. Wilkins. First down for the little fella. Under two minutes to go. Manning. Quarterback draw. 
Touchdown, 1916, and Eddie George on the sidelines of the Titans look concerned. You know what's coming. Onside kick. But the good hands people for Tennessee, once again, their kick return team in a different role does it for Jeff Fisher. Big Pen got it. There'll be better days for Peyton Manning, but there'll be more days for Eddie George, who ran 26 times for 162 yards, over six yards a carry. The Titans had over 200 yards rushing before a couple of kneel down made it 197. The Titans allow one touchdown last week to Buffalo, one touchdown in the final couple of minutes to the Colts. They play defense, and they're going to the AFC Championship game to play a team, Jacksonville, who they've beaten twice this year. We knew it was going to be tough, extremely tough environment against a very, very talented, well-coached team, and uh, we kind of won it our way. Uh, we certainly had some had some chances today, had some field position, uh, just uh, never quite got that big play, kind of like uh, was said earlier. And uh, I think I think I think you need to have some big plays in these playoff games, and uh, something we'll learn. And uh, you know, we'll, you know, uh, I believe we'll be back next year. This was, of course, a team victory, probably one of the biggest victories in franchise history. And uh, we realized that uh, we still got a couple left. So uh, we're going to come back to work, and uh, we're eagerly awaiting the opportunity to go down to Jacksonville.